thinking of you. We are not only inheriting a climate crisis that is driven by fossil fuel projects like the Coastal Gas Link Pipeline, but we are inheriting a legacy, a Canadian legacy of genocide, colonization, marginalization, gendered violence. The man camps, the construction of these pipelines, they threaten the bodies of indigenous women, girls, two-spirit people. <laughs> We are defending our bodies. Standing with Wet'suwet'en land defenders and supporters means that I am standing with my future because they are not just protecting their land, their rights, their livelihood, they're protecting all of our livelihoods. We cannot survive if we do not listen to indigenous peoples and respect indigenous sovereignty. <laughs> The criminalization, Canada's criminalization of indigenous front lines. The BC Supreme Court decision to enforce Coastal Gas Gaslink's injunction is a criminalization of Wet'suwet'en law, and it's, it goes in direct violation of constitutionally protected rights to access lands. BC recently committed to implement the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. Does the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People look like a military invasion? No! no. Does it look like forcibly removing Indigenous peoples from their territories? No! no. What are all of these words supposed to mean if the people on the ground are getting violated? <laughs> these are lies. We need to resist these narratives. These narratives of, of reconciliation and Canadian climate leadership. The Wet'suwet'en and land defenders and supporters are the only and, and indigenous peoples all over who are standing for, for sovereignty, who are standing for our collective future, they are the only ones who are standing for, for climate leadership. It is not Canada. It is the people. My heart is with all of you. It pains me to see the violence. It, it makes me fearful for my own future. We need, we need this momentum to keep going. We can't just stop at holding signs and gathering. We need, we need to, to keep persisting. We need to dedicate resources. We need to, to stand on these front lines so the next generation won't have to. <laughs> Thank you.